Hey guys, it's Melanie here from Christian YA Books and More, and I'm here to give you my book haul. Over the last couple months, I've received books from Revel for my book reviews, and I've also picked up a few books of mine that I'm looking forward to reading and that we're doing for our book um, uh, club from Christian uh, Coffee Chapters Christian and Christian YA. Uh, with Angela over at Coffee and Chapters, hence the titles of our channels. So I just wanted to give you guys what I am currently reading, and obviously these are going to be on my TBR list. I wasn't able to get to a lot of my TBR for September. I only ended up reading two books. I'll go into more of that um, with a little wrap-up video that I'm going to be putting together. Um, uh, so, and then October I got to read, I think about four or five books, so that was getting better. Um, but these are the books that I recently got or were given to me, so I'll go ahead and start the book haul. So right now I'm reading, actually currently reading without warning, The Elite Guardians by Lynette Eason. I love, love, love this. Uh, I believe it's going to be a trilogy. She may or may not continue doing it after that. I don't know. But so far, these are awesome. And um, right now we're into Katie's uh, part of the Elite Guardians and her story. There's um, hints of post-traumatic stress syndrome when um, dealing with the war issues and things like that that I think are really neat and bring out a lot of good aspects and um, talking moments in this. Um, I like Katie, she's really cool, but we're also introduced to a new character more so and I'm kind of looking forward to that because that's probably book three is going to include her. Also, we see cameos of Olivia because of course they work together and Olivia's brother Charles, I believe is his name. So they're included in this story, which is really cool. Um, crazy things are happening, and I love the suspense in this book. So that's what I'm currently reading. This is a book from Revel, Without Warning by Lynette Eason. The next one I received from Revel is Sandra Orchid, Another Day, Another Dolly. And I know this was actually, there's a first book to this series. Um, and it's a green book, and I can't remember the name of that one. Let me just double check. But she's a Canadian author, and I love the fact that she's a Canadian author, and I love Mystery Suspense, especially in Adult Christian. And so it's called A Fool and His Monet, obviously with paintings and things like that. Um, so I, I really can't wait to read this. I don't know much about it, although I have heard on book re uh, reviews through Goodreads that it, the first book was amazing. So when I saw this as a book review, I had to pick it up. I also don't know if I can read this as a standalone compared to the first one. So I will also let you know that in my book reviews when I go to do them. Sandra Orchid. The next is, and I have bought um, in one of my other uh, hauls, you guys saw me buy um, a book from Kelly Coates Gilbert that was in this series. This one is, um, hmm, I think it's the last in the collection uh, in the series for um, the Texas Gold novels. And um, I bought A Woman of Fortune. Um, and I've read two of the other ones. This is the book number four for the series, and Revel sent this to me to review, so I'm really excited because I did like the first one uh, that I read in the series. They can be read as standalones, although they are part of a series. So I'm looking forward to that. I also got from Revel um, a new-to-me author, which I was really excited, and it's obviously Amish. And I do love reading Amish every so often, just to kind of set me, especially if I'm in a reading slump, I love going back to these because they have good godly standards, and they're just a delight to read. They have good, heartwarming stories, um, always very centered and and balanced in their, in their writing and stuff. But this is actually a new-to-me author, so I'm kind of excited. Um, it's um, Maddie's Pledge by Jane Dexler, and it's a journey to Pleasant Prairie. I'm kind of excited about this. Um, we have the prairies in Canada. There's a lot to do with, um, you know, what it means to um, 
a lot of the Amish community gets so large and they have to, to move out and so I think it has to deal with that and so it's, it's all about uprooting your life and starting over and things like that so I'm really excited to see what she has to say and her writing style I'm really excited to read a new author I always love that so she's probably not new to the author community Christian author but she's new to me so I'm excited to read her and there's really good um, reviews about this so yeah and I have a couple more from uh, Revela's book review books. Um, this is When Love Arrives. I don't know much about them, so I'm just going to go through them. There's uh, one I do know about and you guys have seen me talk about before um, by jo Johnny Alexander. This is also new to me. It's a standalone novel, it looks like, so I am excited to read it. Um, it's kind of like a cute, fun, romancy novel. Um, she says Danny had planned to spy on Brett. So how did she end up on a date with him? It's kind of cute I don't know the premise was cute and I thought mm, we'll see how it goes and uh, I kind of felt like in a fluffy sort of read moment, so I said yes to that one Another Amish you can't help but love the Amish books anyways it's called The Devoted, The Bishop's Family by Susan Woods Fisher. I am very familiar with this. I actually bought one in another book haul that you guys know of. This is book number three in the series, so I'm very excited to see what she has to say about this one. I really like her writing, and I love all the stuff that she brings about in her books. She has extremely good morals and very good um, coming of ages and also just different aspects to her story writing that I really really cherish and love so I'm looking forward to reading this one by Susan Woods Fisher and the last one I got from Rebel which I am so excited to read is Irene Hannon's Tangled Webs so of course you guys can tell I love mystery and suspense obviously and this is the Men of Valor series, the Private Justice series. And, oh, she's the best-selling author of the Private Justice series. This is the Men of Valor series. And I think this is number three. Yes, it is. Number three in the book series. I have uh, number one still to read, so I can't wait to read number one before I can get into this one. So hopefully I'll get to that soon and you guys can hear what I have to say. It's always usually pretty good by Irene Hannon. But... She has amazing characters, like the bad and the good. She's just awesome at this kind of stuff, so I can't wait to read this. Then for books that I had personally bought um, are oh, one, two, three, four, five. And I start with I'm gonna start with a nonfiction because normally I don't buy nonfiction, but this one really stood out to me and I really wanted to read it. Um, it's called Uninvited, Living Loved When You Feel Less Than, Left Out, and Lonely. This deals with rejection. I could talk forever about this topic. It is something that I deal with on a regular basis and personal things and life things have happened in my life and something that God has really helped me with. And I wanted to see her perspective. She also has five children, and I am so amazed at her writing style. Her, um, her voice is really good. It's almost like you're reading a fictional book in a nonfiction, and I love that narrative. Um, so it's really cool, and she deals with a lot of issues in this that are just really awesome how she brings the gospel and focusing your life on these things and so far I'm only in a little bit but I'm already making notes and when I have time it takes me a lot to go through nonfiction so I like to really sit down and delve into it really look at the facts look at everything about the book and just really absorb it all so yes I am so excited and this is by Lisa Turkhurst I think She's a New York Times bestselling author. Maybe you know her name. I don't know how to s pronounce it very well. But anyway, she's done a lot of good books. This is the one I wanted to pick up. And you can read more and more about it as I post on Goodreads as well as my blogs and things like that. So yeah. Another one I bought was our book club pick of the month for September. 
and was our first live show. I was so excited to do this. I got my Sherlock Holmes hat and we had a good time, me and Angela. And so if you missed that, you can check it out on her channel where she actually is the one who posts the videos for those and uh, we alternate hosting. So yeah, you can check that out. It's by Rachel McMillan. It's very cute, set in Canada, um, Sherlock Holmes-esque kind of um, story. It's really cool. If you want to hear what we thought about it and all the ins and outs about this book, definitely check out our live show on her channel at, at Coffee and Chapters. Then, our book of pick of the month I also bought, and that was Sarah Ellis Unblemished. We are doing a live show for this coming up on November 5th at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. So please join. I'm not going to say anything about this other than it was very, very good. And I will be posting my review on this on Goodreads very soon after the live show because I really want you guys to hear what we have to say on there. Post your questions, get in on the video and let us know what you think, all the fun stuff. It will be on Angela, Angela's channel, Coffee and Chapters, and I'll be hosting this one. And we have a special surprise with Sarah Ella herself, so definitely check this out. So that was one I chose to buy for myself. And also, I also bought this one. It came out, it's just a new release. I was so sad when I got it, Amazon. <sighs> the cover and then I dropped these books trying to take the picture for the photo for um, the thumbnail for this video and I dropped it and look what happened to my cover so sad this is why I need hardbacks people this is why and five children can wreck things anyways this is can't help falling so funny that it fell today but anyways by Kara Isaac, new to me author. I know Angela's read the first book. This is my choice. I read this, I'm gonna read the second book and then I'll go back to read the first one. Just because I really love C.S. Lewis. And she goes into this, it's, it's like two C.S. Lewis fans meet in snowy Oxford. Will their fairy tale romance survive real world regrets? I love that. It's reality writing, which I love, and also C.S. Lewis, and so I'm really excited to learn more about this book coming up. My husband bought me an amazing book, and I'm so spoiled, it's not even funny. This is Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Conan Doyle. Look at that spine, people. And this is the back, this is the front. It is got the gilded pages. It has the, um, was it satin or something inside here? It's got beautiful pictures and just notes and everything. Oh, so nice. It's so cool because, and it has little comics that people have done over the years. It has information about him and how he made these stories and kind of a little bit of a biography. Um, so it's really cool. Yeah, here's little uh, pictures in there. I absolutely love this hardback. It's leather bound. It's so nice. Anyways, yes, this is something I got as well. So that's my book haul, y'all. I'm not totally American, but you know whatever. So I would love to share with that with you and let me know what books you got over the months and uh, check out what I think of these on Goodreads and of course my blog and or here. I will be posting reviews as well. Let me know if you want review books, um, uh, books that I review on video forms. I kind of like that idea. You can let me know in the comments below what you think and of course subscribe. We'll see you later. Bye!